off flirt with the girl, have a beer. But wait, there's history here. Mike Wolf, Daniel Kobe stopped here. From American Pickers. Walk across the Buckingham Street Bridge, where they do the German World War II reactment is. Stop and look at Ben Hogan's Hill, where the nudie girls run with a free will. Picardos, you'll want to stop here, because me and my family did, and it was awesome. I know they don't rhyme, but it's a true story. This place has been requested six times. Six times I've been requested to come here. I'm here, Titty. I'm here. But first, George R. Jones. No, not the George Jones you're thinking. One of my favorite country singers. Apparently, he was an officer of the Waterways Conservation from 67 to 96. But look at the height of the Allegheny. How high this thing is. This is the docking point in Titty Ute. I've never been down here. I guess it was a good day to come down. Because as you look into Titty Ute, into the park, the docking area is flooded over. Oh man, and I got more to show you about the bridge over there. There's a lot here in Titty Ute I got to cover. This is crazy. Do the old shoe trick. Jeez. Oh, it means summer. Summer's coming. Oh, birds. I'm getting to people. I'm getting through it. What do you say? We just walk through to you. The point in the vlog where we just explore Titty Ute. It's crazy this has been requested six times, but I'm here. And I was gonna come here anyway because it was on the list. So therefore, let's just walk and explore Titty Ute. Cause it just seems like, so oh, and a tropical weather day. It is 32 degrees. <laughs> what do you say we walk through town? Explore Titty Ute a little bit. I mean, why not? This, is, this seems fun. I don't think that's what they mean by slow children at play. Or do they? Now I'm going to walk through and try to take my time for you people that requested this town because I don't want to disappoint. It's one stretch of town, but still, you got a lot to take in, let me tell you. The restaurant, Hotel Titty Tavern. Now there's one down here I think's really interesting. That must have been something at one time. That's an empty storefront. I always love these gazebos in town. Someday if I own a big backyard, I'm just gonna put a gazebo up. Cause I think they're cool. I think this is where I should do the shot where I do my sitting part in town. Cool. 
One of my favorite shows on TV. American Picker stopped here. Mike Wolf bought a pinball machine at the basement. And Danny bought a painting. This town is just like one street, which a lot of the small towns I go to are. Hopefully you can hear me because the wind is whipping, man. It's crazy. But yeah, these one streets all bunched together. And then after all that, it's just spread out. And I won't make my way across town, across the bridge, because there's something I want to show you over there. I've shown it to you before, but I want to see if they plowed it. So there's one thing I don't understand about when I did High Town. High Town had like 500 and some people in it, and they had no post office. Now, Teddy Ute has 641 people who live here, and they still have a post office box. So I'm not understanding the whole thing about why Hightown don't have a post office box. These old houses are cool. Huh, I wonder what that was at one time. Miller's, tobacco, ice cream, movies, etc. It's a bunch of random names together. I wanted to stop for a minute and let everybody know when something gets in me and it bothers me or I'm not happy with it, I change it. I totally dropped my Patreon because, well, I don't like Patreon because they won't allow you, the subscriber who wants to support me in any way, shape or form without buying my merchandise, just donate one time. They want you to donate monthly. And that's my, not my intent for doing it. Because when you buy my shirts, I make money. So therefore, I don't like the Patreon and I'm going to drop it. I'm going to find something where you can give me a one-time donation if you want to. It's not required. But it just didn't settle with me the first week I had it. And I didn't say anything about it. I let it ride a bit. But I'm not going to keep it. So that's your weekly PSA. Oh, plus, I ordered something. And it's going to make these videos so much better. I'm so excited. I just might poop my pants. Or you might poop. <laughs> I don't want anybody pooping their pants. But when you see what I ordered. It's going to make these videos so much better. And I've dreamt about this thing for two and a half years now. It's going to happen. Okay. That's your weekly PSA. <laughs>It's funny when I go to all these different towns and I've never even heard most of these townships. Limestone Township. Never heard about it in my life. But this is the Buckingham Street Bridge. Where they have a reactment of World War II captured the bridge event. It happened in Germany in 1945. And they capture, they have the Germans on one side and they have the Americans on the other. And what happens is they put on this fake, the pyro, the fake bullets, everybody, 250 reenactment actors do this. And what they do is they take the, the German side and the American side and they do the whole thing with the pyro and the Americans push the Germans on the other side and they use the pyro to blow the bridge up. Not actually blow it up, but the reenactment of them blowing it up in 1945 in Germany. Now, I can't remember the town in Germany. They said it actually the event happened. And I don't know why Titty Ute puts on the reenactment here, but I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if they still do the reenactment, be honest with you. But this is the bridge they do the reenactment on. It was crazy how many requests I got to do this town. And I know like a lot of locals that used to live here that moved away were like, you should go do Titty. Well, I'm here. And it's not disappointing. Oh, that's a cool building. 1894. I don't know what it is now. Man. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Probably a lot of things have changed for you people watching this. 
from other states now. But this, I can't believe how nice it is today. 32, I feel, think I feel, feel spoiled. I had the best hamburg when I stopped here. Me and my family stopped here one day. And I had the best hamburg in the Coke. I don't know what they did to it, but that thing was like one of the best tasting Cokes I ever had. And you know me and Coca-Cola, we get along good. I love these old storefronts. I mean, when they got that shape of the building like that and these huge windows, you don't see huge windows like this. And that, ah, oh, Santa. It's like an antique store or something. That's what it is too. That is cool. Look at that old Coke lamp. Oh man. I gotta stop filming on Sundays. I did a vlog here about eh, seven, eight months ago. About Ben Hogan's whorehouse on the hill. Back in the day when he had his little brothel on the hill here. And it was one of the ones that was sent to me by a subscriber of mine. I'm like, well, I gotta go do that vlog because that sounds kind of crazy. But yeah, I'll link him in below the description. It's one of the ones I'm like, I never heard of this guy ever. And I did the vlog and I'm like, okay, I got it. Pity you, Ben Hogan, Babylon Hill. Go check that video out. Yeah, I'd say about eight months ago. It was in the summer, I can tell you that. Thank you, son. Hillside Retreat Airbnb. Now, in the video I did on Ben Hogan, one of these houses, I don't know if it's the Airbnb, or this one, or which is which with the Airbnb. But Ben Hogan's foundation is used in one of these houses. Ben Hogan's, his whorehouse was torn down, but they reused the foundation for a house after they, you know, they tore the brothel down. And I'm not Wikipedia, but them, Look like regular old bricks, stones, sandstone. I don't know. It's more modern day foundation on that. So I'm not sure what the Airbnb, maybe that was the brothel foundation? I don't know. But in the story I read, it said Ben Hogan's foundation to the brothel was reused to build a house. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me if you live here. I find these old oil structures so cool. Still here from back in the day. Jeez, I tell you, Allegheny is really high. This was not this far up. Holy cow, all the way up to the tree line. Oh, winter. You need to go away. Oh, hell. I knew I heard a rattle. Well, old girl, I think you need to get in the shop. There ain't no oil change anyway.
when you cross the bridge over on the other side of Titty Ute, that's the view you get. But there is a bigger view over there at the Titty Ute lookout. Now, I can't get to it because I didn't plow it, plus the gates are locked. You know, sad trombone moment. But still, a cool view from where I'm standing from across the bridge. Pretty cool. Uh, the places I go to. So those were the days, Titty Ute, when I walked through your town. Remember, this got requested six times, and I appreciate everybody who does that. Do you have a town you'd like me to walk through and check out? By all means, put it downstairs in the comments, or send me an email. But pretty cool. But I'll see you next week. Maybe in your small town. And the weather, think about it. Next time you see me next Monday at 5, it's going to be March. You know what that means? Spring's coming. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited, but you wait till I bought. You wait till I show you what I bought. <laughs> I want to tell you so bad, but I can't. Oh, I'm flipping out. There's my cue. When you find yourself idle or stagnant, it's important that you move from place to place. But if your knees start buckling, your stomach starts rustling, your ankles all swell. Oh, hell, well, I've been like that too, man. And here's what I do. Yeah. Break it down to the early morning time. I'm so excited, I just might poop my pants.